Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine on the Navy Sports Network. Time to talk a little baseball with head coach Paul Kostakopoulos. And what a, we, you and I, in the past at this time of year, we're always talking about cold weather, yeah. how are you managing, doing a lot of stuff inside. This has been an abnormal yep. February for you guys. You've probably been able to be outside probably as much as you've ever been here with the weather that we've had as you all have gotten your season started this past week and what has it been like to have the extra time outside? You know the, the preparation is always great uh, you know to get it to, to be outside be in the flow of, of uh, playing baseball is always going to be indoors and the other thing that it really helps with uh, is uh, you, your timing is much better because you're doing everything at, at, at the correct distances with right. the correct volume in the outfield the, everything is better now that usually straightens itself out after a couple of weeks anyway, um, but it's nice to at least be able to get out there and do that. For your ball club, a, a school record for wins a year ago, a win in the NCAA tournament, it's, as dramatic as you can possibly uh, win a game. And when you guys, if you look at the standings, you've had different rivals pop up to challenge you here over the past yeah. few years, but what has it been about your program that has allowed you to be that consistent club that's always been right there competing every year uh, for a spot, obviously, in the tournament and a chance to at least go to the yeah. NCAA tournament. You know, I, I think that's, uh, you know, that's something that we do take pride in, you know, and sometimes these cliches get thrown around in these interviews, but we really do. We, we take pride in, in, in doing what we do. We try to connect the dots. We try to stay in the box, play the game the way it's supposed to be. It's hard enough to beat the other team without messing around with the game itself. <laughs> and and uh, so we do try to create consistency in practice through through making sure that we, we continue to play the game right. That doesn't mean we're always going to do the right things, but um, uh, if you scheme the game well and you're only playing the opponent and you can make it a short game, meaning a two, three, four inning game, you got a shot to beat almost everyone on your schedule. And that's what we try to do for the most part, you know, try to Play the game right, make it a short game, give yourself a chance to win a three, four, five inning game. You're closer to 1,000 wins than you are 500 as a baseball coach. How many times over the years, I'd be interested to know, have you tr had to maybe evolve in the way you do things? Your approach uh, through the years now is uh, to where we are here in 2017 as a college baseball coach. You know, that's a great question, Pete. And, and uh, you know, I think sometimes you actually evolve without even knowing it. Um, you know, uh, we get stubborn as coaches sometimes, and, and, and we, you know, you should, as you get older, realize that, you know, certain circumstances uh, don't always work, and you have to make adjustments. And, and I think, uh, you know, I've probably had to change, uh, whether it's practice schemes, whether it's philosophy and recruiting, um, even handling the players. Uh, yeah, it, it's a dozens of times. You know, you just kind of keep changing and keep evolving to to what what your program's needs are. How much has it changed at a place like this, which obviously uh, presents its own challenges because of the academic and military things that your players also have to include in their baseball schedule? Yeah, you know, it, it hasn't. It hasn't. You know, uh, I, I think one of the things I. I, I I think I picked up from watching all the successful coaches here, watching uh, you know Kenny coach, and just doing just doing a great job. Watching uh, Ed coach doing a great job. Stephanie, um, all the people have been here for some time. Um, one of the qualities I notice in them is, you know, when it comes down to playing baseball, you play baseball. When it comes down to playing basketball, you play basketball or football, and and you don't make. Uh, excuses for some of the things that are real, meaning you know academics, military. You still got to coach these programs like Division One programs and have expectations like Division One programs. Because as soon as you stop doing that, these guys are are, are so wired uh, to compete, they can sense that. You know they know that uh, you're trying to manipulate something, and and you can't do that here. So I think a lot of times it's just go coach the way you need to coach. You have to have a sympathetic ear. You have to certainly. Um, use your eyes, watch your players' emotions, but you don't really change the idea that you've got to go out and compete against the best teams on your schedule and be successful. Uh, obviously, it's a little while before you get into your league schedule, but how much does a series like the one you have upcoming here with Air Force and uh, the people of Kinston, North Carolina, have done a marvelous mm -hmm. job in embracing this series, but uh, how much do you find out about your team maybe in its willingness to compete because it ratchets up a little bit more uh, this weekend playing a service academy it, it, rival? It certainly does and, and I think uh, uh, finding that, that uh, I guess that niche that, 
that how are you going to compete? You know, how are you going to approach big situations? Um, is is so important in a successful season, and uh, you do have a little glimpse of it early, and it is early. Um, you know, there's some things that we do differently early than we would do later sure. in the season. Um, but you do get a chance to see that, and, it, and it, you do get to see a, a, a chance to see how we're going to compete in a little bit brighter spotlight. And uh, so much of that is experience, so much of that is uh, learned behavior, um, and we do have some newer guys, so we're going to have to kind of see how that goes. But I think to your point, Pete, it's extremely important, and, and, and you're really taking notes as a coach to see how you're going to respond. Obviously, uh, on April 1st, your baseball stadium, your program, you're going to get a chance for some spotlight with the, the Nationals mm -hmm. and, and Red Sox coming here, and it's going to be your stadium that everybody's going to see. Right. How much does something like that factor in? It's because you guys are going to be away that weekend. Right. And you've got a right. hell of a series to play on the road, ironically, that right. weekend at Holy Cross. Right. But uh, what, you know, what bringing that here, and obviously some things are going on, some construction is yeah. going on over there, how much does that help uh, at least show people that, hey, we do play baseball here at the highest level at the Naval Academy? I think it's, I, I think it has, it has great value. Um, um, you know, some of the things that you had said that, you know, people get a chance to see that we play at a beautiful venue. I think sometimes we're a, a secret even among ourselves, sure, absolutely. you know, here in, in uh, you know, Annapolis and even Greater Maryland. Right. Um, it's, it's a great place to come see a game. Uh, it is as well laid out a field as you'll come across in college athletics. It doesn't have a huge amount of uh, seating, but it's got the perfect amount of seating. You know, uh, 800 or 1,000 people watching a game. Um, so it really is a, a, a great chance to showcase our, uh, our facility. But I also think um, it, it shows that baseball uh, and the military, uh, you know, there's a, there's a, there's a connection there you know baseball's a, a uh, it's our pastime you know and and uh, it's it's very important to us as a country and to see the nationals and the uh, uh, red sox come in and play at the united states naval academy is a pretty unique thing and and i think it catches the attention of people you know as it should and and uh, certainly the leadership of admiral carter and uh, mr gladchuck putting this all together uh is is not only great for our program but Certainly the academy, certainly for the military. You know what, for a day we get to feel pretty good about ourselves as far as the accomplishments of the, the, the men and women in the military and who, who protect us every day in a simple sport that we call baseball. So I, th I just think it's a great combination. Yeah, whose initial professional championships predate World War I. That's right, that's so right. Because right. go back a long way. Appreciate the time. Best of luck this weekend against the Air Force. Thank you very much. All right.